Well, summer, at least from a meteorologist's perspective, has begun. June 1st to August 31st is how we measure, measure summer, and the summer outlook for pretty much the entire United States is looking warm. Locally, we're talking about above average temperatures as well, and I think that that's going to be something that we really tap into, especially as we get into July and August. So things are certainly looking warm, and we might notice that a little bit more at nighttime this year. The other thing that we're looking at is above average precip to our south. But the thing about this is I expect this to actually get bumped up a little bit just because the tropics are going to be more active with the active tropics. That means we'll have plenty of moisture that's going to make its way up into Maine and New Hampshire. So I still expect things to be on the wetter side, especially as we get into August and September. So how do we figure out these long term forecasts? Well, we take a look at the Enso region. That's this portion of the Pacific Ocean. And the way that we figure this all out is we look at wind direction, a couple other things, and sea surface temperatures. And depending on what the sea surface temperatures are, that tells us where we are. Above average sea surface temperatures, El Nino. Otherwise, it's a La Nina. And that's where we are right now. We have a La Nina pattern ongoing. It's highly variable during the summer. In fact, the last two summers have happened during La Nina years, and they could not have been more different. Over the last several years, you'll notice one thing has been in common, though. Every single summer has been above average, and I expect that to continue with a little bit of rain on the way. In the studio, meteorologist Mike Slifer, New Center, Maine.